Thank you so much for patiently waiting. It takes technical time to convert the video onto cloud. Therefore, I cannot uh, let you in earlier. And we kindly invite Olena Yurchenko and Natalia Ugolnikova to share their presentation. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Is everything okay? Yeah. Uh, dear colleagues and guests, uh, let us bring to your attention a report on the topic linguistic methods in social media marketing. Article transfers the pro social media marketing from traditional marketing studies to the sphere of linguistic research. We would like to point out that this is actually the initial report described fear of application and indicating some questions for further research. Our main objective is both scientific and methodological. We intend to identify techniques which may be the point of future scientific linguistic research and should studied by the applied language specialty students providing them with additional employment opportunities. The most important transformation of our time is the transition from offline to online mode in via social networks. However, as practice has shown, many employers have encountered certain difficulties in organizing their business processes online. This is usually caused on one hand by a lack of understanding of the methods and tools of such work, and on the other hand, by insufficient number of specialists in this field who are ready to set up the required business processes at once. Our study is based on a real, that is uh, the creation of an online healthy lifestyle club, the purpose of which is to attract unfamiliar audience through social networks in our case, through Facebook. And uh, you can see the objectives of the advertising pain for this project at the site. We should point out that all the stated objectives could be effectively treat, uh, treated up to 2019, and they still can be reached by social media mark tools of the Facebook platform. However, we have to note that at Facebook is carrying out a serious reorganization of its platform, which affects the rules of working with advertising and Facebook manager, thus influencing the efficiency of communication with the selected target audience. And this makes a MEM specialist to search for new communication tools, such as those listed at the slide, new messengers, automation of communication processes, and new social networks. In our study, we were particularly interested in identifying the linguistic methods which can be used by representatives of small and medium-sized businesses independently or with of SMM specialists, namely methods of identifying and describing target audience one's competitive niche, compiling special texts of advertising messages, marketing algorithms, and artificial intelligence methods. At the stage of promoting goods or services through AD managers of social networks, it's very important to correlate the keywords identified as a result of the analysis of the target audience's request with the requirements tools for conducting advertising activities. Today, we still do not have any developed service that can help you pick up necessary keywords that can be used in advertising texts in social media marketing. However, choosing such keywords for certain business spheres and automatizing the process can become complex practical tasks for master's thesis of the applied linguistic specialty students. We should point out that the targeted advertising service of Facebook and Instagram 
in accordance with their, its customer loyalty policy blocks the advertisements in the topic weight loss, for example, which contain the selected most popular keywords. However, this blocking can be bypassed using other keywords in advertising texts. At the same time, an important task which still requires automatization is to analyze the effectiveness of advertisements by keywords. Nowadays, the process of finding posters of one's target audience by means of analyzing hashtags hasn't been automatized yet, and that provides an opportunity for further development and improvement of this search method. Another wide field for further linguistic research. Um, further in linguistic research is the correspondence of a hashtag spelling with its actual meaning because more sophisticated spelling can make a hashtag more recognizable, but more difficult to find if you don't know the exact spelling. The specific diversion of a sales funnel can be different for each type of businesses, depending on the problem to be solved. However, there are the tasks solved with the help of such model, and they are presented at the slide, and we won't stop here. And the sales funnel, algorithm of our project is presented at the slide and we can discuss it a bit later if it's it is needed um, and recently the most attention paid to the possibility of automatization of this process which requires on one hand presence of trained specialists and on the other development of special services or mastering global ones both paid and free the examples of such services are presented at the next slide. Uh, however, the task of automatizing the selection of one's target audience still remains unsolved. And this can also be um, a sphere of important research. Our maybe, um, well, uh, chatbots are often used in business to advise and provide information to clients. And the most common linguistic methods of choosing an answer when using question answer chatbots are the following reaction to keywords phrase match context match oddly enough but identification of word forms and recognition of synonyms are a problem for simple chats in general we have to admit that the processing of a natural language, especially its colloquial style, remains an acute problem of artificial intelligence still awaiting its solution. Um, the success and relevance of the existing internet courses indicate the need to develop similar courses and integrate them into the curriculum of university specialties, applied linguistics in particular, which should provide the graduates with additional employment opportunities. And we can see that the available social media marketing plans can implement in various forms an initial text written by a person, an adequate product description, and studying platform rules will allow the specialist to create appropriate text to avoid possible mistakes. It also makes sense to analyze the rules that social media marketing platforms put forward in order to automatize the process in advertising texts. And it can become the perspective topic of future research. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much for the presentation. Questions of welcome. Oh, well. Okay. Thank you so much. Then. Mm -hmm. then we invite our next speakers on hate speech in media towards the representatives of Roma ethnic community. Uh, yes, good afternoon. So I will share my screen. Sure. Uh, so, a moment. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I would like to talk about hate speech in media towards well, the representatives. Let us, make, of... let us make a pause. Dear participants, do you see the new presentation? 
Uh, do you see my screen, the presentation? Oh, Sorry. Yes. Oh, no. No. Yeah, Yelena Yurchenko, you will have to stop sharing your screen so that the next presenter. Okay. Can... okay. One more. Mm. That is on top, on top. Just stop sharing, it says. Stop. stop sharing. No, only. On top. Okay. Just a and moment. Nobody... No problem. Now, who is Okay. Thank you. Do excuse us. No problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you see my screen now? Uh, just a moment. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can continue. Uh, so I would like to talk about hate speech in media towards the representatives of Roma ethnic community. Uh, the presentation is quite big, uh, but I would like to be brief and concentrate on the main points. Uh, so uh, each person may refer himself or herself to various social groups and di differentiate oneself according to race, skin color, nationality, etc. Uh, this is the reason why hate speech is used against us, leading to xenophobia and discrimination. And if it is used by creative mass media, it is a violation of journalistic standards and legal norms. Uh, mainly, I want to highlight the aim of the study. Uh, this is to identify linguistic forms of hate speech against Roma people based on the headlines of online edition Zahid.net during 2020 and to clarify the possibility of its recognition by automatic technical means. Uh, so, uh, in Ukraine, uh, there are more than 47 people that are admitted to being Roma, and they are probably the most socially vulnerable national minority. According to the index of ethnic distance, the Roma people belong to the third level of population groups, and this indicates isolation, unwillingness to see the members of these groups as citizens, as citizens of the state. Uh, hate speech itself against the representatives of national and ethnic groups may be defined as statements of a negative nature towards a person, a representative uh, of a certain national or ethnic community, or a group as a whole based on stereotypes and promoting intolerance of the society. Uh, the biggest problems uh, in hate speech against the members of national or ethnic groups are gener generalizations, increasing hostility, and and unneighborly behavior calling for action by non-legal means. Um, linguistic means of hate speech include intolerant vocabulary, lexical labels as fascist, gypsy, generalizations, stereotypic expressions. Uh, in this research, we were investigating articles about people belonging to the Roma community on the website zahid.net during 2020. Uh, we found 13 such articles where 12 of them indicated on the given ethnic group. Nine out of 13 materials uh, contain criminal news, indicating the nationality of only uh, one party involved Roma. Only in one headline, there was no indication of nationality, but the news item was included in the section about Roma people, as the victim was a resident of Zakarpatia, and for Ukrainians, this means that probably he was Roma. Um, so uh, it may be concluded that the existing language stereotypes about Roma are present in the Ukrainian media space and are most frequently, frequently expressed through the evaluative stereotype, with, which is an expression of comparison, good or bad. Uh, the next part of our uh, text analysis technologies. However, um, uh, we should say that the current state of automatic text analysis technologies contributes only to a partial solution of the problem. Uh, computer assessment of the text tonality is established experimentally, being marked by operators, which is then used as a uniform standard in sentiment analysis. This approach is characterized by several aspects that are both correct and not exactly correct, because it does not always give accurate results of language assessment. Uh, so, uh, 
here it is. Uh, the challenge uh, for the researchers in the process of development uh, software for sentiment analysis is to take into account the order of words, expressions, and sentences in the text and their impact on the overall tonality. To track uh, the inappropriate use of the ethnic group name, in particular the term gypsies, concordance program or corpus managers may be used. We have studied the frequency of the use of the word gypsy, which is offensive to Roma with the help of the Ancor Conc Corpus Manager. Uh, we took a small article entitled 10 Little Known Facts About the Gypsies, and with the help of this tool, we found out that the word gypsy was used 21 times. Uh, also, also uh, this software product allowed us not only searching and counting various elements of the text, but also analyzing their frequency and context of the use of word forms, word combinations, and morphemes. Uh, so here, here's the screenshot of it. Uh, so uh, to conclude, uh, the use of this tool will help to pre-moderate journalistic materials in terms of discriminatory, insulting statements, as well as hate speech against members of ethnic communities and to monitor compliance with journalistic standards and media content. So uh, that's basically it. Thank you so much. Um, any questions? Okay, if not, then we can invite Solomia Albota for her presentation. Mm -hmm. Yes, dear participants, I would like to present the results of the paper entitled Linguistically Manipulative Disputable Semantic Nature of the Community Reddit Feedback. Big post. So, uh, the purpose of the uh, paper is aimed at linguistic discovery of cognitive patterns interrelated with implications as well as explications, applying linguistic markers within the chosen Reddit command sections of discussion charts. Uh, regarding the purpose of the paper, uh, conducting semantic analysis of the textual fragments in common discussion charts, particularly linguistic markers, were applied when marking uh, statements as disputable and manipulative. Uh, this time, Reddit coronavirus community is a study basis, as it is worth further studies in the news field in order to spot the global virus peculiarities in terms of cognitive shifts and psycholinguistic conversation behavioral patterns. Uh, this way, we allocated the most frequent linguistic markers with manipulative and disputable implications according to the following headings, mental virus vaccine effects and virus vaccine geography. We also allocated semantic groups according to the previous headings in accordance with those uh, introduced by software tool, linguistic inquiry and word count. And then this is the first discussion heading and the results of the second discussion heading chart. Uh, the second discussion heading chart proved with this the same automatic program that positive emotions prevail in the comments as applied linguistic markers help to determine semantic coloring of hope for normal life conditions involving vaccination. Uh, here we can see the percentage figures of both the discussion headings that are the even lower than the average amount of all social media. The two allocated headings uh, have manipulative, disputable nature as it was discovered linguistically, mainly semantically, and more explicitly than implicitly. Uh, facts and knowledge base concerning virus vaccination initial and ongoing phases hindered conflict situations and fostered collaboration in terms of conflict solving modes. Here we can see that positive emotions dominated in the second a discussion chart as both linguistically explicit and implicit manipulations of promising bright future in terms of mental coronavirus health effects were greatly detected. Negative emotions prevail in the second discussion chart as well, being marked linguistically as fearful efforts to overcome virus effects and its further mental problem problems. Unlike cognitive processes in the first discussion chart, the second ones were substantiated mainly by the implicitly revealed instable health modes and explicitness of taking actions to remain unlocked under usual life conditions. 
This time already discussion comment sections were chosen not from random uh, unpopular opinions of Reddit uh, chatting network, but from coronavirus community rubric. Concerning uh, textual semantic analysis, semantic groups were singled out on the basis of linguistic commands, which were marked analyzed both implicitly and explicitly and proved as manually as statistically. In psycholinguistic perspective, social models of communicative behavior may be a ground for discovering peculiarities of online communication affected by the pandemic. Thank you for your attention for this. Thank you so much. Any questions to this presentation? The second one. As we may see, the presenter is shifting to, to her next presentation, information consolidation on users of social networks to determine their credibility. Welcome. The research object is the official page of the company on the Facebook social network. A combination of uh, semantic marking and web services, a phenomenon of social network is considered Taking into account social media marketing, customers' company reviews can be both positive and negative, and attempts to influence them can be even more detrimental to the company's reputation and site. Here we can see this the purpose and objectives. Then to the problem statement, we may refer that among the provided problems that arise uh, for analyzing social networks, there is no less significant disadvantage of Facebook, the advertisement, which is becoming increasingly intrusive. Advantage is verification. Uh, by following the link, a user will not get a virus on his PC. The problem of identification, the sum of all values at the coincidence of all parameters must be equal to one. In this way, surname, name, and gender are one of the most important parameters during identification. And if this data is specified incorrectly, it will be impossible to identify this user as accurately as possible. A combination of linguistic and statistical approaches should be used to achieve a high level of reliability of the results and its high quality. To build a functional model, the DFD data flow diagram was chosen. Three main entities were allocated, administrator, communities, and user. The decomposition of the first level, uh, so to say the division of the main process into sub-processes is shown. The decomposition of the second level of sub-process determination of credibility is shown here. Um, this is a diagram in the notation of Peter Shan. So entities are displayed in the form of rectangles, connections in the form of diamonds. The overall credibility of the user is calculated by the following conditional formula. Uh, the table in the Excel with scores, which can be edited arbitrarily, was provided. And a comparison of two most reputable users according to both formulas is shown. So the combination of linguistic and statistical approaches helped determine social network user credibility and in perspective the extended formal model pattern of different social networking approaches may be considered and used as a basis for further studies in the field of global social networking. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much for the presentation. Questions? If there are no questions, uh, I believe due to time limit and we will have the full, full discussion afterwards, we can invite Natalia Bondarchuk with her presentation on quantitative characteristics of lexical semantic groups representing whether in weather news stories. Ms. Natalia, welcome. Okay. Can you see this presentation? Can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, dear, mm -hmm. dear participants on the conference, let me 
uh, introduce the results of our research, quantitative characteristics of lexical semantic groups, representing weather in weather news stories based on British online press, conducted by me, Natalia Bundarchuk, and Ivan Berta, Ivan Franco National University of Lviv. So the development of present day technology, in particular software programs has substantially transformed the survey of not only uh, technical sciences, but also humanities. A large amount of data can now be accessed easily in electronic archives. In addition, modern textual research requires incorporation of both linguistic and natural language processing techniques. In order to account for the interdisciplinary approach that incorporates linguistic and computer assistive techniques, the survey uncovers the basic constituents of lexical semantic groups and their relationships in the text of weather news stories into quality, the Times, the Guardian, and to mass, the Sun, the Daily Mail newspapers, 2014-2017. To, uh, According to Alan Bell, journalists do not write articles but stories. A considerable boost of communication technologies has provided instant access to news across the world. Traditional newspaper genres have been supplemented with new ones, which either coexisted or replaced them. A recent investigation on newspaper genres, Bahadia Yates or Likovsky, has examined the process of genre hybridization that occurs when new generic forms are created, innovated, or developed to achieve novel communicative goals within the framework of socially accepted generic boundaries. Thus, weather news stories is one of the genres that emergence of which is rather conditions, conditioned than spontaneous. So the aim of the article is twofold. The first one, to establish basic constituents of lexical semantic groups and their quantitative characteristics in texts of weather news stories. And the second one, to investigate the relations of lexical semantic groups which compose lexical structures of texts in British online press. The selection of material for this survey was the corpus of British electronic newspaper texts of the ingoing genre weather news story. The electronic newspapers that served as a source of material for linguistic research are the four most popular British newspapers, Quality, The Times, The Guardian, and Mass, The Sun, The Daily Mail. The overall search resulted in the compilation of the research corpus of contextual representations of 2,800 lexical structures of weather news stories from 5,760 5, pages. The study of the text is organized by a computer sampling of electronic versions of British newspapers by using keyword searches in the online archival sources of these newspapers. So lexical semantic classification of words is primarily associated with the words of Humwood, Trier, Portsich, uh, Weisgerber. It was later developed by Lyons, Lehrer, Kitai, and Grandi, who considered the common elements of meaning shared by the constituents of word groups as the basic criterion for their grouping. In spite of a more concentrated linguistic attention paid to the lexical structure of language, the relative disregard of the lexical structure of the text stands in the need of study research. In this respect, a lexical structure should be considered as, as semantic network of relations of lexical constituents on the surface level of the text. Thus, lexical structure is the structure of lexical units, their groupings and relations among them that contribute to the continuity of lexical meaning in the text. So classically, lexical semantic groups include words of one part of speech connected by a common semantic component, category lexical seam, integral seams, which identify it common compatibility as well as uniformity in the development of ambiguity. The use of componential analysis in our study allowed for identification of semantic relations by separating the smallest indivisible unit of meaning seam. This type of analysis is carried out with the help of lexicographic analysis, which allows combining lexical units into lexical semantic groups or subgroups. Quantitative analysis is used at all levels of our survey just to determine the quantitative parameters of lexical semantic groups, as well as to clarify and establish trends in the use of lexical units in weather news stories. Quantitative analysis was carried out with the use of computer program TROPS V8.4. So in the course of our research, lexical semantic groups of noun, sound groups, adjectives, three groups, verbs, four groups, and adverbs, three groups have been singled out. 
The analysis has shown that there is a variation regarding the quantitative composition of lexical semantic groups. It has been observed that saturation appears to be related to the type of newspapers. As a whole, quality and mass newspapers have identical lexical semantic groups. However, there are some differences in the quantity and functioning of their constituents. The dominant lexical semantic groups in mass newspapers are emotional state, weather description, weather evaluation, which testifies to the more emotional and subjective nature of weather news stories in mass newspapers. In contrast, lexical semantic groups, time, meteorology, and location are dominant in quality newspapers, indicating more informative, factual, and concise mode of news presentation. The data, the data also show that adjectives of negative semantics prevail over the adjectives of positive semantics in the corpus of the study text. This is explained by the functional and informative features of weather news stories. These are usually the news about abnormal weather events or weather catastrophes leading to the destruction of material environment, mutilation, and death of people. This investigation is preliminary in the sense that the relations of the lexical constituents that are on the surface of the text have been analyzed. It indicates the need for further study of relations among lexical groups and intrasentence relations within a specified text. Hence, the results of the study might contribute to the quantitative analysis of other text corpora, as well as the integration of natural language processing applications into the research of lexical semantic relations in the text of other genres and of various functional styles of the language. An obvious area for further research is the study of semantic vocabulary and associative relations of lexical units representing whether in text or whether in stories by applying the methods of content analysis and associated tests. Of special research inter interest might be lexical relations of weather vocabulary in terms of syntagmatic and paradigmatic structures of lexical units. In this case, the statistical and distributional analysis supported with appropriate computational techniques may be of great use. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much for the presentation and keeping to time limit. Mm -hmm. Questions are welcome. Okay, then dear participants, um, we will have them to leave now if these are no questions so that to begin the next session on time. Mm -hmm.